what's up guys mark from wandering souls back with a new video um, we got a package in the mail so i thought let's do an unboxing um this is the stuff i uh, ordered from burning world records um it was black friday and uh, they had a sale going on on their bat on their um discogs page and um a lot of records were priced down so um, I thought this is a nice time to get some records from Burning World Records again uh, because it had was been a while I ordered from them before but it was a while back uh, I ordered from them the last time so I thought let's do it now and um, support this label a bit um, nice label from Amsterdam um, it's also um, building world records. Is also uh, the, the, the owner of that label is also the owner of Roadburn Records. Um, you know the label that is affiliated with the Roadburn Festival. Uh, it's the same dude. So um, yeah, I got a really nice package in here. Pretty heavy. Um, I ordered all vinyl, so the guys you already noticed um it's time to open up the package and see what's inside and i think it's well packed but let's see where it all goes so let's put it down there and pull out the first record and and see what it is first record is um, Sleeping Beauty by Tiamat. This is a live EP um, from the band from Sweden. And let's crack open the shrink wrap as well so we can have a look at the record. Yeah, if you're not familiar with them, um, Stardust. Pretty heavy band, but along the way it became more gothic. Um, this is a release they did in 1994. Like this is a live recording. Um, this is around the period they were a bit death doomy and slowly becoming into goth uh, area. Um, this was just released before the um, Wild Honey album, which changed the band's sound a lot. Let's quick open here. And let's put that down there. Uh, this is the sleeve elm cover, and there are five tracks here. That's the sleeve comes with a printed inner sleeve it seems so here's the inner sleeve no seam splits here that's good and just just on black wax here but awesome live recording and just listened to it before it ordered and I thought oh I don't know why I don't have this already and uh, so I decided to order this like I said I was already ordering so why not um, fantastic stuff Tiamat with the Sleeping Beauty live in Israel. Let's pull out the next one. And this is Sepultura uh, together with the Tambours du Bronze. Um, this is a live recording uh, done in uh, Rock in Rio, um, in the big festival. In, um, um, Brazil, but and like you guys can see on my hype sticker, it's a colored vinyl, so I'm really curious how it looks. Uh, limited to 3000 and I've got number 246. Um, yeah, nice live recording, and of course, with Derek Green on vocals. Um, a lot of people seem to hate um, the recordings with Derek Green. I don't hate it actually as one of the recordings. Um, 
yeah, it's not uh, really my thing. And um, but the releases they did became better and better. And um, the newer albums are definitely worth checking out. And um, band is getting um, tighter and tighter with each other. Um, and it's a steady unit nowadays. So. Um, the Tambour du Bronze uh, is a percussion a group from France, so there's a nice collaboration. Uh, see, and um, Sepultura has done a lot of percussion um, sounds in the in the music. It definitely fits together here. Um, really nice live recording. I hope I can crack it open because. The shrink is pretty tight here. But this is a double record, so there are two records here to show. So. And let's see how they. This is the gate fold here. You guys can see it a bit because it's pretty dark and the glare is uh, providing um, the camera a bit otherwise it will drop. Um, let's see how the vinyl looks. Put it in the sleeves. And this has a nice a white vinyl. It's really cool. one printed in the sleeve the pictures and the set list it's really cool and this is a nice red vinyl so I'm really looking forward to give this a spin and how it sounds on vinyl I just only heard some digital uh, songs from this so I'm curious how it will fall out um, but yeah uh, Sepultura with um, Metal Veins live at Work in Rio together with the Tambours du Bronze um, percussion group. Awesome. Really looking forward to hear this. And next up. And this looks like. Um, Nihil, I think. Let's get it out of the sleeve. Double record as well. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Nihil with a dead of the fourth album from this Dutch uh, project. And this is um, Black Metal, of course. A really dark cover. Probably hard to see, but um, yeah. And the records are probably black. So, yeah, just showing you the. Uh, the labels we, we are not that really interesting it seems there is something else with it and what's that it looks like it's a CD or something and I wonder why they put it down there like this like that so I can get it out damn it so, also comes with a CD but this is um, black metal from the Netherlands um, Really cool stuff, heavy uh, but slower and uh, more noisy, uh, droney sounding uh, black metal. That's what this is. Um, fantastic stuff. 
really looking forward to give this a spin as well. Um, it's a member for one of the members of Dr. Kehidon. Um, I think it's the one that has passed away. So um, there will be no more Nihil releases probably. That's a bit of a shame, but um, it is what it is. But rest in peace, dude. Yeah. Pretty nice stuff here. Nihil with Vederf. Let's see what we have here. Uh, this is Ghost with Valediction. And this is Ghost without the H, so uh, G O S T. Um, it's an American electronic <laughs> artist, and um, this album is really weird. Um, if you hear the single, whoa, that's a nice synth wave project. But um, don't let you guys fool yourself. Um, this also is full on black metal in um, certain songs. So. Um, if you are used to the single that is from this album, which is the song um, uh, Dreadfully Pious, Pious I think. Um, it's really, really nice synth wave of clean vocals and stuff. But from the moment you turn on the album, um, you immediately got waken up by ferocious screams and fast blast beats and um, black metal sounding guitars. And you think, what the fuck? Well, that's also how this band sound. They combine those sounds as well in certain songs, and some songs are more black metal, and some songs are more um, synth wave. But if you like both genres, this is really nice to just explore this band. Um, I really like the, the glossy uh, lettering here. Really cool. This was released by Century Media, so it wouldn't be that hard to get. I think it's a gateful as well. Lyrics. And this one comes on black wax. But a really interesting project. Uh, this is like I said, American project. But um, this is definitely uh, stuff that maybe a little size 17 would enjoy or um, they are easy big into synthwave and black metal. But also people like Kenyon Bickle probably will enjoy this if they all, they already don't know it because it's a um, pretty big uh, name. Um, with EOR and Central Media, it definitely got a lot of more exposure. So um, it's a pretty big label. But um, yeah, interestingly, it's Valediction by Ghost. Um, if you are like Sing Wave and Black Metal, go check it out. Awesome stuff. And the last one in this box is a furnish with um, the release bikini season. Um, this is done by hypertension and um, yeah, really interesting. I think um, this is um, a release done by White Full Final. Uh, I think he showed it in one of the video in the, of the new releases um, came across and um, yeah it's a really interesting release it's a kind of mixture of uh, hardcore punk, grindcore, power violence you know that kind of uh, corner um, if you like that kind of stuff you, this, you will enjoy this the Vonis, uh, I think it's a Belgian band as well so uh, yeah really interesting let's crack it open Ones too because it's really tight, shrink wrapped. Uh, apart from Whitefield Final, I haven't sh seen a lot of people showing this, so if you like the mentioned genres, um, definitely take a look into this. A pretty decent band. And uh, 
been a around for a while as well. But looks like this. And also is a sheet with it and uh, lyrics, a kind of weird way of put, uh, writing the lyrics on a uh, full, uh, full on paper. I think it's kind of annoying. Also comes with a download code, so it's really cool. So yeah, that's a vonish with um, bikini season. Go check it out. Um, very nice release on hypertension records. So that's my Black Friday haul. Um, I will leave links in the description so you can um, look up the bands and see what they're all about. Um, let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about these releases, um, if you check them out and if you are familiar with them. Um, love to hear your opinions and um, so that's it um, for now um, I just want to end this I don't want to make this video too long um, before we leave leaving we are listening to Asian rights with uh, blasphemy internal eternal Belgian um, black metal fantastic release this is their second album if I'm not mistaken um, really good stuff go check it out if you're not familiar with this as well um, so that's my whole I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, enjoy your day guys and see you guys next video cheers